in Gotham, our season finale two of Gotham Transfers, where they don't really do. They, there's some good Enigma. I probably enjoyed most of this episode, and it reminded me much of the Arkham games. It almost sounded just like whoever voice acted that character. Mm. But yeah, Enigma's game tactics sounded like they pulled it straight out of the video game, which was a good time. Yeah, that was actually cool when he was quizzing Baby Bruce and Lucius there. That was good Baby stuff. Baby B, dude. <laughs> but the rest of the episode... Like be... This show has just gone downhill, dude, the last like, couple Well, they brought Fish Mooney. Fish Mooney. Oh, yeah, back. like why would you bring Fish Mooney back? No Fish one likes Mooney her. Bitch. Google Fish no, Mooney is... No, we should bring just... back is uh, CancelGotham.com. <laughs> Someone probably snapped that up already. <laughs> Second Mooney came back, dude. Yeah. I, yeah, we probably actually still own it. I probably just forgot to cancel it, so we can bring that back. <laughs> and we had that uh, Gordon clone. We had yeah, that was just that for a bit. so lame. And dude, yeah, the, the acting. Was, the acting. And finally, who was the person who figured out that that wasn't Jim Gordon? You're not Jim. You're well, not Jim. Harvey had it figured out a while ago. Like he kept letting him go for some reason. I don't know. Wait, why. so you love me? <laughs> yeah, he did. He did have it figured out, but he was like, he's like staring at him, like, what the hell is going and especially on? Especially when Alfred came, Bullock just kept going along for for some reason. I don't know. Why. I thought Bullock was gonna bust just him to out torture us, dude. But I don't know why. I, mean, I will say the funny part was when God, why can't I think of her name? Strange's sidekick, Miss Peabody. Yeah, Miss Peabody, when she was asking for water, and they're like, oh, mm, 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 and they're all, she's like, I need water, and they're like, I thought that was pretty funny. They should try that in real, in other bomb diffusing situations, like, if they ever make another speed movie, I want that to be how they It's the best it. way to defuse a bomb. That was Before, pretty funny. Dude. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, and then the brainwashing, or not brainwashing, but strange kind of absolving Gordon of any guilt he feels. So now afterwards, well, I don't totally get that because now Gordon, he's going down south. Yeah, no, he feels guilty about like leaving Lee essentially, right? Yeah, like, so, so it made no sense. Guilty. Yeah, and I, I like get how that. he just stole Bullock's car, dude. That was pretty great, right? <laughs> Bullock was pretty good. I mean, I love Bullock in this series, dude. He's pretty funny. He's, he's just, probably he's the best part. Better. He is probably the best part. Um, him and Enigma, dude, are pretty. Sad. And then we got uh, the finally the interaction with Penguin and Butch and the guys and encountering Fish Mooney, where once they see fish, they just run. Even though they're carrying these huge guns. Dude, he had a Gatling he gun! He had a Gatling gun. You could have mowed that bitch down. That thing is so... I'm awesome. Fish Moody, bitch. Like, the show should have been canceled when someone heard that line. Yeah. And, okay, like, dude, get this, though. Like, he literally put 100 billion bullets into the side of that motherfucker, shredded it. They showed it get shredding, and then, like, 20 dudes walk out. That's the weird thing about Gotham and bullets, dude. They don't really was, hit where you think are they are. Bullets are boss, but... Yeah. They did hit the bus, right? Or am I crazy? Oh no, yeah, it was tinging the bus. It, was, it didn't. The bullet holes weren't going through because it was. Oh, gotcha. Laid yeah. it out over the window. I thought they were. Stuff. I thought I saw holes in that some bitch. Oh no, they were just like indentation, but. Uh, and it's like, so is everybody just hanging out at Penguin's old place now with his mom's head on the table? Why aren't they kicking it at Butchie's place, dude? Is Butch just now Penguin's Butch Palace? Butch? He's saving up for a new. For yeah, a I think the the set budget like was really limited at the end of the season. It's so, like everybody has to hang out at the police station, Arkham, <laughs> or Penguins, and that's all we have set budget for, or something. It was so. Strange. It's like so. Sorry, was it the whole plan the whole time, not really to kill them, but to gas Bruce and Lucius, dude, to put him down there with Jim Gordon? Because that was like some a-team bullshit dude it just like put all three of them together like to like just foil the whole thing <laughs> that was a bad plan yeah that was a terrible 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 plan oh my god i don't god. know if strange has some superpowers because he was in the middle of the firefly and the yeah how he did was the sh freeze blast frozen shish kebab and he dude. just has like his suit is a little charred and he has some ice ribbons on his head and that's yeah, I saw. I thought he was frozen solid dead, dude. One of the things that I, I'm interested in, and it has me interested for next season, and it's probably the only thing, is, like, 
uh, Court of Owls. Is that who that's supposed to be? The lady yeah, in the TV? Court of Owls. Yeah. I'm curious to see what the hell is going to happen with these guys, dude, and what, what kind of and control they have. that's a recent comic book storyline. That's only from a couple years ago, from after they re rebooted the New 52 with DC Comics. That's a pretty recent storyline from a few years ago. Hmm. Yeah, dude, it could be good, man. I didn't really like, like her showing people... up on the TVs. I don't like how they did that, where they, like, distorted the image. Yeah, I was wondering, like, is she, like, it. vibing in from, like, another Earth? Or is, like, <laughs> and why three TVs stacked like that? <laughs> if you're in a secret society, though, right? Like, you're going to yeah. want to have some kind of cool way to, like, make your presence known. That is true, yeah. So I would, like, start every video feed with static 100%. <laughs> And make sure it's on multiple monitors. Like yeah. I, I'm not talking. These, to you, like, you, can, you can only communicate monitors. to me through this wall of monitors. And since all these monsters got out, I'm guessing that's going to be the mainstay of season three. Also, Fish no, Mooney and okay, the monsters. So, yeah, let's talk about that, dude. This this season was like, or last half of the season was the villain half of the season, but we didn't really get like anything cool. Right. Villain. We didn't get the main villain we wanted. Yeah, so, and then now we have a busload, so it's like Villains Part 2, like the beginning of next season. It's going to be like Rise and, of the Villains again. <laughs> we rise. And it's baby Bruce Wayne, dude, comes walking out of the bus, man. With Brett Metal's wig on. <laughs> yeah, what was... Do we know what that was all about dude, at this point? Are we just supposed to care? Our reformed poison group, dude. Well, dude, I think what they did is uh, Strange, you know, did the whole thing he did with Gordon with the kid so he's got a clone and they're gonna try and you know steal bruce wayne's enterprise i'm assuming next season but why does he have long hair just they decide they didn't have a right wig well no that was the kid they had and they just didn't shave the kid's head maybe i don't know <laughs> or to keep him like hidden so like if he's walking yeah. around out there you don't recognize it right away you're just like oh it's some maybe it's his kid. brother and strange took on that some point no holy way holy shit who's the real bruce oh my god it got so good I did love that when they were talking to Alfred about the secret, Bruce is talking about the secret council, like Alfred and Selena were like, you stupid son of a bitch. Like, we can't handle this conversation right now. Because they're like, it's finally done. And then he's like, no, there's a secret council. And they're like, no, no, no. I was thinking the exact same thing, Alfred. <laughs> Fish Mooney in an episode just kills it, though. Like, I think she, her screaming at a garage door was... Besides her saying "fish moody bitch" go up three times, that mm -hmm. was her presence is just exactly. terrible. She's just like a bad actress, and that character is just terrible. It's just right. a terrible character, and oh fuck, that's just a big bummer that she's back. Well, what scores are you gonna give this season finale of Gotham? Oof. Well, I I mean, there's nothing that can be said to say, but dude, that thing was a two for me. Like it just. It didn't hit anything I wanted it to hit, dude. Didn't end with anything big and major and cool that I wanted to see. Fish Mooney's still alive. She didn't die, dude. Penguin ain't running amok. He's passed out, laying down on the ground. Other guys running away, dude. It just ended kind of sour, dude. And like even the guys, the villains getting off wasn't a big enough tease because I couldn't really tell who they were and they just like wall walked like zombies. So I wasn't even really excited. I mean, you can kind of think about who it is. You could hear a little cackle in the background teasing some Joker stuff. But beyond that, man, it was just a dud, dude. Such a bummer because I I enjoy a lot of the season, but yeah, a two for a finale for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a two too, and for pretty much most of the same reasons. I just didn't it didn't click. It just like didn't come together. I didn't like the way it ended. It got really corny. <sighs> Clone Bruce, maybe I don't know. Like it's the the only Harvey was the best part of that episode. Everything else just totally fell flat to me, and it just felt yeah, like yes. it was really rushed and. Yeah, I don't know, two, two. Yeah, I'm going with a two as well. Uh, the whole freeze, firefly, battle, strange, being a frozen shish kebab, um, Selena, like, going to Bruce, like, trying to show Bruce who's boss and all that stuff, and I don't know, man. The whole doppelganger of Jim Gordon, you know, going out there and just that horrible acting of that. Uh, I don't know. Enigma. Just over the top, dude. Just, oh. Yeah, Enigma was like the only bright shining star in this episode. Uh, more Fish Mooney. Um, dude, you know, the Gatling gun was cool, but I'm at it too, man. It, this, this was, for a long time, was the best show we watched all season, you know, and it's just like, dude, 
rolled out the corn, man. This was, this was bad. I it was, for me, I was stuck between a one and a two. I'll go with the two because I enjoy <laughs> the Enigma parts. Enigma is probably the only saving grace of this show. Hopefully, he's got a more elevated role next season, which might be the only way they can survive. Seriously, uh, and, they keep like whittling it down, taking away the characters we enjoy, and just like giving us the characters we don't. It's like, what are they waiting for at this point? I feel like they're gonna push Bruce a little in a more uh, important role next season because it kind of sounds like Gordon might be gone for a bit. Because he said, hey, "I'm gonna be gone for a bit, <laughs> going down south." I'm, I, I'm assuming that's gonna be more than one episode. I was wondering if they were using that as a time thing so that they can get away with like he comes back six months later or something they next could season. Do that. Though so these monsters are running amok and Fish Mooney's back doing her thing, so someone's got to stop them. I don't know who that person is going to be, but it's probably going to be Batman. It probably should be Batman. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll find out season three as season three has been has been greenlit for Gotham. 